back in high school, we used to be like big on paintball. And uh, you were? I, yeah. I remember. Oh, I got a good story about that. And uh, I went to Corey's house, and he was like cleaning out his gun already, and he took the hopper off, and the hopper is where you hold our all the paintballs, and he was just like shooting it around in air. It hurts. And then he held it to my neck right here, and he was like closer for me to you, and he pulled the trigger, and a paintball came. Ooh, pool. That had to hurt really right bad. Right in my socket. It was bleeding. It had a well. I couldn't like breathe. I was like. <gasps> And he was like, oh, I didn't know there was an in there, but I think he did. Yeah, he probably did. He's a little devious, little. So, yeah, that was my paintball experience. And um, so I remember um, one time there was these kids that were hardcore about it in our school. And he had, like, a bag full of them. And at the time when I was in high school, I had this fascination with gumballs. <laughs> so he's like, here, you want a gumball? And so I took, like, four of them, and they all exploded <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> I had blue teeth for like a week, and they're like, oh, you eat a Smurf? I was like, shut up. I don't care. Oh, that has a suck. It tasted really bad, too. Really? <laughs> oh, real bad. Well, that's good. Every time I ate food, it was like, hmm, feels like I'm eating paint still. And, uh, yeah, I remember we used to have Kablooies. Remember those? No, what the hell is that? You don't remember Kablooie? It's just like it a... like a video game. No, it's a jawbreaker, kind of, but you put it in your mouth and you just turn blue. Mm, that, that was like sounds... the big candy in elementary school, like Kablooies. You mean jawbreakers? No, no, no. And Warheads? Oh, yeah. I used to have like 40 of those. I used to like do all the time and get really I hated gnarly. those. Did you? Yeah. So like bitch move. <laughs> but yeah, elementary school. Good times. Not really. Keep going. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't remember a lot from elementary school. Not me either. I can't remember a lot of anything. Yeah, we know. So I think I need <clears throat> to go to the doctor to like fix my memory. What do they do? Nothing. They just hit you in the face with a mallet. <laughs> How about now? How about now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and then I go, I go, what's this supposed to do? They go, it's not supposed to do anything, but you're not going to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's obviously working. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thanks for that. But yeah, I got a couple of problems. I can't remember anything and uh, my allergies. And and if I could just fix those two things, I'd be good to go. I hate my allergies too. It drives me insane. So yeah, we were talking about the neti pot earlier. It's so awesome. You get to stick this pot up your nose and boiling water goes through your <laughs> nose and you're like, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, the neti pot for everyone out there is uh, actually, I used to work with this guy and he told me about it. And I'm like, how yeah, did someone, I not know about someone this Someone told before? me about it too. And it, they're like, oh, it's about to work. I was like, no. I just boiled everything that was in my nose and down my throat. <laughs> and I, so did it work for you? I don't really know. I think it made more boogers in my nose. So I mean... And then it was like running the next day, and I couldn't breathe for like three days straight. And they're like, oh, how's it working? I was like, oh, it's great. I can't breathe. <clears throat> so you took it when you were sick, right? I t- Yeah, I take it whenever. Summertime is always the worst for me, so I took it like 40 times a day. That's the thing I always wonder. Whenever <clears throat> I'm sick and I take medicine, I'm like... Does it really work? Well, not only that, because, of course, if you like take medicine for like a week and then you're not sick anymore, it's like, okay, now I'm not sick anymore, but... Your body is like naturally fighting off these diseases anyway, so it's like, was my body just doing that, and I was gonna get healthy anyways? Probably, because you know, like if you get a cold and you wait a week, I don't know. I sometimes, if depends <clears throat> on the severity of the cold, I've had it where it's really bad, where I can't breathe, and I just sit in bed and look at my death's door. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna go to the doctor. That's fine. I don't trust the doctor anyway. Yeah, you probably want it. I think, uh, I don't know. I think a lot of it's just like guess. They give you stuff. an anal probe. What is this for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just sound like a good just idea. Stick it up there, but uh, yeah, I mean, just with like the pharmaceutical companies, where it's like guess and check. Same thing with doctors. You think so? Mm, a lot of it. I mean, of course, you know, it's so not they just give you random medicine, and if this works or if this happens, you're screwed. And you know, another well, they might do that. You know, another thing I used to think that if you ever went <clears throat> to the doctor and uh they didn't know exactly what was wrong with you like you told them all your symptoms and they're like oh i never heard of this before they would be like okay one moment and uh they're and like go to the back room and someone peeling out and be like bro <laughs> no not leaving but they would go in the back room and like get on webmd and like okay yes a... and they just like okay you may have diverticulosis <laughs> no they probably got on instant messenger to talk to smarter child <laughs> All right, here's the symptoms. <laughs> what does he have? I don't understand. What do you want? Nothing. <laughs> or uh, what's it, Siri now? Did yeah. you ever have I have that? Siri on my phone. I, I heard so much it's about so it. It's so stupid. It is? I I'm heard... like, where can I go find this? And they're like, you can buy underwear at this store. I'm I... like, the question's irrelevant. What are you talking about? I heard it was actually super accurate and smart. Super sucky. Every time I asked it something discombobulated, I was like, I think there was one time I was looking for... 
I think it was like football tickets to the Packers game. Yeah. I'm like, can I buy, where can I find tickets to the Packers game? It's like, where can you buy fudge at Packers <laughs> in Green Bay or something? I was like, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> what if it just asked you questions back? <laughs> yeah, no, I wish it would. What, what are you doing a- today? I don't know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What if there's a Siri that only asks you questions? That'd be more enjoyable. Every time I like ask that, like, "Are you in love with me?" It's like I don't comprehend, but I could be. I was like, "Okay." Does cool. it say that one? Does or does it just guess? No, it comprehends it, and it's like locating, figuring out. And it's like <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, I guess whoever told me that it was super smart was wrong. I heard it was like the first good voice recognition technology. No? They lied? <laughs> Seriously, I think a trained monkey could uh, interpret what that does. It's garbage. I don't know. It's just in my opinion. Every time I've said something, it misconstrues it in some shape, way, or form. It's like, hey, what are you doing? I'll find McDonald's right now. It's like, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Good enough, I guess. That's close enough. What are you doing? I don't know. But okay. they say that I heard about this. <clears throat> Evidently, voice recognition software is some of the hardest software to build. From then why like build a, it? From like a computer programmer perspective because... They could build, like, the best voice recognition software for, like, your voice. But then when you get to people with other accents and other dialects, even though they're all speaking the same language. I don't think you'll ever find anything that's perfect. <clears throat> but, I mean, they can train humans to understand other people. So, it's kind of like if you can teach it to a human, you can teach it to a computer. You'd yeah, think. The thing is with that is, like, how lazy are we getting? Like, is it that much to, like, say two words, but we have to, we can't type it or something? <laughs> I mean, like, it's like, I can't find this. All right, well, go look on Google or something. Yeah, but like, type it in. I know. It's not that. Yeah, you could tell it to type it in. Make it do orders. What if we make a Siri and then every answer is just go Google it? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I just thanks. make Siri my maid. Go clean my room. Shut up. <laughs>